Hi, welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about a problem that most of you probably are aware of, of this issue with the iPhone 6s. Um, and one of the problems is that this is a brand new iPhone 6s uh, rose gold, as you guys can see. And when you open the box, uh, the phone from the box from, for the first time, uh, when most people already, if you already had an iPhone, you probably already have a backup with iTunes. So what you want to do though is uh, a lot of the iPhone 6s, uh, there's, there's a glitch on the phones that the restore process from iCloud will either stop or just freeze. And you know, sometimes you, if that happens, you're gonna have to plug it into iTunes and master reset it, or the phone might even have to be a DOA. So you'll have to return it and get a new new phone. Uh, so to avoid those kind of problems, what what I suggest you to do, uh, the, the solution to that to fix that glitch is uh, instead of going through um, the iCloud restore process, like you can see that I'm going through all the menus right now, continue, uh, we don't wanna do this right now, do not pass code, continue. And you see that this is the screen, this is probably the most important screen. As you can see right there, it says restore from iTunes, restore from iCloud backup, so most of you will click restore from iCloud backup and you will connect to Wi-Fi and you will start restoring everything to your phone. Well, instead of doing that, what you want to do is you want to set up as a new iPhone. And in a few moments, I'll explain to you why you want to do that. So as you can see, I'm bypassing all the settings, uh, Siri and everything. And we're just, we're just uh, bypassing everything. So what you want to do is, you want to go to Wi-Fi in the main menu. As you can see, I'm already in the main menu. I, I set it up as a new iPhone. So you want to go to settings. You want to connect to your Wi-Fi connection. And let me go ahead and put my password. After you are connected to your Wi-Fi, Apple came up with a fix to the problem so they came up with a software software update now what the update will do is will fix some of the glitches that the iPhone 6s has um, and one of them of course is the iCloud restore problem after uh, you can see is the iOS 9.0.2 and uh, you want to download and install agree and um, just keep in mind that this is a brand new iPhone 6s, so you want to go ahead and do the software update first, and then after the update, uh, after the phone has been updated, you want to reset it and do your um, iCloud restore at that point. Uh, as you can see, it's downloading the software update right now. Actually, doing it pretty quick. So we're just gonna wait 10 seconds here and and after 10 seconds you're gonna see that here where it says downloading is gonna say install. And at that point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the update and yeah, and we're just gonna go through a whole software update. It's preparing the update. And this, uh, this kind of depends on the Wi-Fi connection that you have. I mean, I, you know, sometimes the software updates can go pretty quick. Uh, sometimes they can take forever. Uh, probably one of the fastest ways to do the software update is if you plug the phone uh, using the micro, the, the lightning cable, uh, plug it in straight to iTunes if you have a computer. That probably is the fastest and safest way uh, in case, you know, you drop connection or there's a problem with the download or something like that. As you can see, it's still preparing the update. It might be a little bit while it does that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to, uh, we're just gonna skip this part and we'll be right back. All right, as you guys can see now, it's uh, verifying the update. So we finished downloading the whole iOS 9.0.2. 
and after you finish verifying the update it's going to show the apple symbol and it's going to show the loading bar and you're going to see the whole software update like in previous iphone versions and at that point you know all you really gotta do is just wait for the phone to do its thing and you want to make sure that your battery is fully charged if not fully charged at least a 50 percent uh, software updates can take a lot of power of the phone and um, yeah you just want to make sure that the phone is has enough power to be able to run through all the updates that it needs to run and as you can see now it shows the little loading bar the apple symbol so we're just gonna wait um, you know I'm gonna skip all this part I don't want to keep you guys watching this forever and we'll wait until that until the phone does the update completely and then uh, then I'll show you how to reset the phone to do your iCloud restore without any problems. All right. All right. So I finished the whole software update. And uh, now it says that the up update has been completed. And I'm really just skipping everything. Continue. Because... All we had to do was to run the software update. In this case, I did it over the air, but you can do it with iTunes or whatever you choose. Um, after the update is complete, we want to go into settings, general, reset, erase all content and settings, erase iPhone, erase iPhone, and the iPhone is going to take you back again to the main screen as a brand new phone when you got it out of the box. And at that point, you want to choose Restore from iCloud Backup. And at that point, you don't have to worry about the phone freezing up on you or having to replace the phone because iCloud failed or some weird glitch that Apple has. Uh, when the iPhone 6S came out, you know, just like anything, like they didn't, they didn't fix all the glitches. And that created a very... Uh, frustrating problem for a lot of people because uh, you know once the phone gets to that point that you cannot restore everything you either have to take it back to a store send it back on the mail get a new phone uh, or go into an Apple store and these days those options are very stressful so anyway as you can see the phone just went through the whole master reset pretty quick and now the phone is taking me back again to the beginning. Uh, we choose a language, location, we continue. And at this point, the iPhone is going to ask uh, if we want to restore from iTunes or iCloud. So restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup, set up as a new phone, move data from Android. That's a new option. Anyway. So at that point you want to choose restore from iCloud, connect to your Wi-Fi, put your uh, iCloud username and password and all your information will be back on your iPhone without any problems. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope that this helps to the people that got the new iPhone success. And if you have any questions or if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.